But yeah. the other side of this motivation thing is this neurological thing with ADHD is that even though you can you can absolutely want something, you can really want to do it. There are things I, I really know this very well as an ADHD person, also with the menopause because right. it makes it twice as bad, is that you can really want to do something. It doesn't mean to say you're going to do it. That's right. And the difference between activation and intention is is actually it's physics. You need a push and a pull. If you're not moving, even though you want to move, you haven't got enough internal motor to do it. So that's where you would use, for example, body doubling, things like working with somebody else or having a deadline. You can use urgency. You know, and I've got quite a few really gifted creative friends. My husband makes escape room. He works with this woman who makes escape rooms. We call her last minute Lizzie mm. <laughs> because She's incredibly creative and she thinks she's in process of getting an ADHD diagnosis. Mm -hmm. But her sense of time and everything has to be last minute. And she's coming around to the idea that she causes for herself a lot of emotional upset because she needs that urgency. But at the same time, it could be better controlled. And if you understand that like you have a manual for it, if you understand how your motivation works, I know that if I haven't got a certain level of urgency, it won't happen. Right. So what right. I've done with, for example, to pass my exams and to get as far as I have now at university, because as soon as I got my diagnosis, I went, ah, oh, I understand. It's not yes. me. There is a reason for this. And I went to university and I've done brilliantly at university. With any luck, I probably will pass this come loud. I'll get, because I've got a, an average well over eight on everything I've done so far, because I love it and I want to do it well. Right. But right. what I do to get to my deadlines is I artificially create a sense of, a bit of anxiety and, and, and urgency mm -hmm. earlier on in the process. And I imagine what it's like, because I know that on, if I wait for the last 24 hours, I have literally <laughs> fall to pieces. I'm not, I'm not a good last, per, last minute person. And I know mm -hmm. that about myself. And so I've created a process. I actually organize meetings every, every fortnight with my mentors separately to the lessons because I want to be able to say to somebody, this is what I've got, this is what I've done so far, and this is what I'm going to do next. I will share about this, I'll describe this to my students as well, because I've got quite a few students at, in my English lessons, for example, at the Rounder, who, are in a, who have a similar kind of brain where they're like, I really want to do this. I keep saying I want to do this, but I just never get around to it. I can't fix it for them. Right. But I can say to them, yeah, it's physics. You've got to, you're not moving anywhere. You've got to create some kind of push and pull. You've got to create something. You've got to put it into space and time. If it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Organize it with somebody else. Agree with somebody else. And in some cases, they still don't do it because yeah, yeah. Oh, even good. though they want to do it, there's, there's still a kind of a resistance. But they've got to go through that process. It doesn't make them a less person. Having to experience, it, you know, what it, who you are and how you work. This is the time to do it. You should be able to do that where you don't do anything for a week. And then you <laughs> wonder about it. But instead of being racked with guilt, there are other lessons you can pick out of that if you don't hate yourself for it. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.